Now we want to talk about measuring the performance of the pump. I mean, this is a very, very small pump, but we can still measure the performance of it. There are one, there's one gauge and three taps into the system. The difference between this bell and this one measures a differential across the strainer. The difference between this one and that one measures a differential across the pump. So if we open this valve, we'll get a reading as to the pump head. Then we close that valve and open this valve. This will be less, and we can see what the difference is. The difference we'll have in PSI. We multiply, if this is water, we multiply the difference in PSI times 2.31 and we'll have what's the performance of the fan in feet. And if you look at page 14, page 414 in the textbook, you'll see a pump curve. And if we were reading a difference of 20 PSI, that would be 46 feet. If we read across here 46 feet, we could read at the right and color size, we could read the flow rate in gallons. So the head in feet across to the in color size and straight down tells you the GPM. How do we know what impeller is in there? Well, we do this, we, sh we start with all the valves shut. We shut the valve of the discharge of the pump, so the pump is pumping no water. So we shut the valve tight. This is called the deadhead test. We, we open the valve ahead of the pump, and we get a reading. Then we open the valve before the pump, and we get a reading. Same process, but now we've, we've got a, a slightly different pressure. PSI than we had before, multiply by 2.31. And that reading, we look right at the left-hand side of the pump curve. So what's our head at zero flow? Our head at zero flow is what we've just calculated. That will tell, that'll line up with one of these impeller lines. That tells us what size impeller is in the pump. And then, by doing the other test, we can determine, now we know which line to follow, come across to the right head we have performing, and straight down tells us the GPM. The other test we can do here is open, with the pump running, open this valve to see what the pressure is on this side of the filter, then open that valve to see what the pressure is on this side of the filter, take the difference, and you'll be able to determine what's the pressure drop of the filter in either PSI or multiply by 2.31 to get the difference in feet. So that's how to calculate pump performance. To get the right, to see what size impeller it is, you do a deadhead test, which is shut the valve at the discharge of the pump Open this valve to see what pressure you have there. Open this valve to see what the pressure is ahead of the pump. What's the difference times 2.31? That's the dead head pump. And then, if you want to see what's happening when the pump's performing, you start with all the valves shut. Make sure they're all shut or you get a bypass. Uh, with the pump performing, you open this one, see what the reading is, open this one, see what the reading is, take the difference, that'll be a difference in PSI, the performance head, and we multiply that by 2.31 to get the operating head in feet of water column. Feet of water column to the right of color size, straight down the chart, tells you how many GPM.